Oh. You go one, two, three, like that. One, two, three. For over 20 years now, it's been our twofold mission to provide excellent, affordable music instruction to all people and to provide performance opportunities that contribute to the cultural life of our community. In 1991, the school was founded by a group of people living in the Collegeville area that really thought that the community needed a place for quality music lessons. Uh, they started by renting space in a church in Collegeville and within two years they had grown to the point where they needed their own building uh, to accommodate more students. The first year they had only 23 students enrolled. The current enrollment for individual music lessons is over 400 students each week, plus we have another close to 100 students attending classes and ensembles on a weekly basis. I've been teaching here for 11 years now, and I've taught everybody from elementary school beginners whose fingers are just big enough to reach the instrument, all the way up through some senior citizens that were interested in getting back into music again. When I first came to uh, CMS, I was uh, seven years old and I was in the first grade. Not only has the school kind of taught me like how to play music, but it's also taught me discipline, which has helped me a lot like outside of the school as well. The Suzuki Academy here at CMS, it's based on the string philosophy by Dr. Sunichi Suzuki, who developed it many, many, many years ago, uh, specializing in, in individual lessons and also in group lessons and group classes. Music therapy is offered for all age groups here. Uh, they'll do individual assessments, the teacher, and they will work on social, communication, cognitive or emotional development as is needed for each person. We offer voice, piano, winds, strings, percussion. CMS inspired me to actually become a, uh, a teacher myself. I, I enjoy teaching others about music. Last year we taught nearly 15,000 private lessons, 250 music theory lessons, and 450 ensemble lessons. We have concerts, uh, honors recitals, student recitals, uh, teacher performances, which are very entertaining to watch. And we also get to perform outside of school as well. The opportunity to get to play recitals when the students are ready, instead of just maybe once a year, I think is great. Productions that we do like the opera, where we get voice students to work with string students and piano students and wind students. It's a great place for them to create music and also interact with lots of people that they probably wouldn't normally get to interact with. There's quite a few summer camps here at CMS and each camp is approximately one week. Progressions Band Camp here is a nice camp that uh, accommodates students interested in uh, jazz, funk, and pop music. The Crescendo Strings Camp accommodates teenagers who are advancing to intermediate level and they are put into trios, string quartets, or quintets. Prelude's Piano Camp here accommodates lots of students who are beginners into intermediate. Just last year we hosted over 47 events here at our facility. Our Little Night Music Concert Series is our professional concert series. They feature professional musicians from all over the country. Uh, it's a mix of genres, anything from classical to jazz to world music, and we tend to have at least one concert each year featuring our own faculty as our teaching artists are professional performing musicians as well. Our Box Lunch Series is our monthly lunchtime concert series which is free and open to the public. The students here at CMS, they are offered a lot of performance opportunities, whether it's at like a local library, a retirement home. The students have also played over at the Rita's Water Ice and over at the Y Center. Our mission is not only to give music lessons, but to really cultivate music and culture in the community around us. CMS has a beautiful gallery that is open and free to the public. This year, for the first time, we're partnering with local art galleries and local artists to showcase their work. Just recently, we got a grant from the Bard Foundation to start a program at the library called Suzuki Paper Orchestra Program. 
This will bring Suzuki music to young kids at the library. Another relationship that we have is with Pennsylvania Philharmonic, also a nonprofit music organization. We have artists from Pennsylvania Philharmonic perform at the school, and our students will also have the opportunity to perform alongside this orchestra. Community Music School is a nonprofit school. We do get money from tuition, but that only meets a portion of our expenses. Community Music School relies on the support of our community, our stakeholders, individuals, foundations, and funding from our local and state governments. We would not be able to provide financial aid or scholarships or low cost or free programming that the school currently provides to the community without the help of contributed income. The financial aid has actually helped me to continue my lessons here. It, it's helped out a lot. It really has. It's vitally important to us to have funding uh, outside of tuition dollars to help us not only maintain our current programs, but also to grow new programs. We'd really like to get outside of our current location and into the community more by doing more outreach, by working with other area arts organizations and schools, uh, by looking for opportunities to uh, bring people of all different walks of life together um, in the name of music and music education. Thank you, CMS.